Hello everyone, Lau here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to a good old G1 My Little Pony unboxing. I am surrounded by shipping boxes and that means, yep, I spend a whole lot of money on G1 My Little Ponies again. Bought them online because you know, in the wild, flea market, etc. That's not really the place where I find most of my G1s. <laughs> Sadly, I wish I did, but um, that's just the nature of living like in 2024 and want to have like toys from the 80s so and 90s still g1 was also still around in the early 90s uh, i just don't find it in the wire that's why i pick it up online and yep i've said it before i don't do as many of these anymore because I just simply can't. I have a ginormous <laughs> bony collection uh, at this point and um, it's not that easy to find the ones that I'm still missing for affordable prices, yada yada yada. So I have to go on, um, you know, US eBay a lot and buy from there because a lot of the ponies I'm missing were not even released here. At least the ones that are still kind of affordable because the ones that I still maybe could get from Germany where I'm from um, those are just the ones left that are really really expensive so I'm like okay sure I have to pay a little more shipping um, from the US or from the UK there's also one package from the UK here um, but at least I can still kind of find new ponies for me get my collection more complete and have a video here together with you with Full on, you know, G1 My Little Pony goodness. Okay, um, I just say let's start. I'm gonna get this package here first. Then, then all the rest, I don't remember which one is in which, uh, but I wanna start with this. This is kind of the most <laughs> heavy package. And this is also the only one I did not get from like whatever, the US etc. I mean there's one other package that's that's also from Germany but this is the only one that I got like kind of from Kleinanzeigen. All the rest is eBay. Um, because like I don't know I've not been really lucky at uh, finding good deals on Kleinanzeigen anymore and this I also did not find myself. That was that that's all due uh, to um, my friend Cotton Candy Curtains again. I know whenever I have something that has to do with good deals in my videos, it's always due to her because like she was like, hey, there is someone selling ponies again, just under the name of, you know, Phillies, which is kind of, you know, Zimba Toys that did this tiny pony line. Um, they are kind of, you know, blind bag fakies. You could say uh, they are called Phillies. And that's why a lot of people in Germany call every type of pony fillies because those were really, really popular a couple, a couple of years ago. And sometimes you find my little genuine Hasbro, my little ponies under the name of fillies. That happened here and there's only one pony in, one G1 original that I want. And she was like, yeah, this is cool, but I actually have it. It would be good for, for trade, blah, blah. I was like, I don't have this pony. So I tried <laughs> get this from the seller. It was again, not that easy because it was a lot back and forth. And you know what, in the end, when the package was sent, the seller was even like, uh, my, my daughter is now really like crying. Uh, she wants her ponies back. I'm like, oh, why do you tell me this? Why are you selling your ponies? So I'm like, maybe I sent most of the ponies back and, and only keep the one I really want I don't know but like let's let's have a look in here uh, where is it actually here everything is kind of pre-opened already so I had a look in what's in there but yeah I mean this is what you're seeing yes most of it it's fakies I think maybe a couple of real g4s but let's have a look because this clearly is just a filly. This is a bigger filly from Zimba. I don't know, I've never had one of those really. It seems uh, they can even remove this and then it has hair, but the usual like Zimba filly ponies are small flocked and more like blind bag style. Um, so, but here you see even the name. So I understand why some Germans, because Simba is a German toy company, so most popular in Germany, why some Germans mistake now also all kind of My Little Pony style ponies for fillies, because those are really um, prevalent here. Um, no, not interested in that one. 
not interested in that one. Oh, those have cute, <laughs> maybe I want to keep them. Those have cute uh, hair ties. Those are like children's like jewelry accessories, which I always enjoy. But this is also just a fakey. This is a G G4 style fakey. It looks pretty convincing, uh, but it doesn't have any markings whatsoever. It's really light, um, but it has cute, uh, oops, cute symbols. So a little, like, a little bit like Twilight and then here. And um, yeah, also not interested in that one. <laughs> uh, what else do we have? Oh, yeah, that was also on the on the photo. That's actually a really interesting thing. This is not a thing why I bought the box, but this is a keeper's brush uh, for for one of my many um, diamond keepers. So the the pony, the horse type, the big one. Uh, I'm not saying no to this. Interesting. Okay, let's get the biggest one out of here. This is, I think, a real G4 pony. Whoops. Is it though? Oh my gosh, I guess it could sing or something. Does it still work? Hello? No. Woohoo. I don't know, it doesn't do anything, but it's a ginormous. No, it does something. Okay. Uh, Okay, it seems to be from the movie style. It's so from the movie. And then you could probably sing with it or something. I'm not interested in this. If the child still, still wants it, she can have it back. Um, it's G4 from around 2017 when the movie was released. Ginormous Rainbow Dash. It's not bad, it just has really bad hair. Uh, but it's an original one, definitely. I have a similar Twilight one, but this is even bigger. <sighs> I can already see the one that I wanted. That's good. So not this one. Simple, like kind of um, Remco style fakey, but obviously not done by Remco anymore. But this kind of mold is similar to the chubby uh, Remco fakies. Yeah, two more G3 style fakies. They probably came in a set, I guess, or in a similar because they are they're not bad. They're quite cute, I have to say. Obviously, the hair is not good, but it's also not awful, to be quite honest. I mean, cute, but fakies that I'm not interested in. Okay, this is another Zimba style fakie. I think it came together with a mommy. This is like a baby pony from Zimba, those with those removable, um, with these removable horseshoe thingies here. Um, not interested in that one either. It's not a bad fakie. It's Simba. Simba has somewhat decent quality, but like not that good. Uh, another one of these small fakies uh, that are also, this is definitely a G3 mold, uh, just sized down. Uh, it's the um, donkey pose, I think from G3, just as a uh, baby size <laughs> made, uh, shrunken down. Uh, if I would keep it, I would put it on my Christmas tree. That's one of those sizes that I like to put on a Christmas tree and it's a nice pink, but also not here for, for this. Yeah, two uh, G4 um, McDonald's ones. I never pick those up. Uh, those are in the style of the um, QD Mark Crew uh, blind bag ponies, just sized up and released by McDonald's in 2019 or something like that. 18, 2018, so, or maybe 19, but they have a 2018 mark on it. One more fakie, I <laughs> keep the best for last. Oh, that, that goes kind of together with these, I guess. Just in purple and not a unicorn. So, as I said, if the child still wants them back, I would send it back. Um, but, oh, she has, ew, what is that? I hope I get this off. This is the pony I bought it for. Ta-da! It's a European exclusive uh, Sweet Kisses pony. Yep. And I don't know what that is, but it looks like the child has put some... Um, I know you, you see it's actually not a pearlized pony. This pearlized thingy is put on by the child. I hope I get this off. It looks like it's just makeup put on or something, which would make sense because this is a <laughs> kind of a makeup pony. Yeah, the kiss, um, 
the Sweet Kisses ponies uh, are a set of like three kind of late release always when we have these European exclusive versus uh, US exclusive blah, blah blah those are mostly like very late ponies um, while this one's from year 10 so that means like 91 92 the US also had a three pony set with the same name of uh, Sweet uh, Kisses ponies but for whatever reason they look different than the three ones released over here in Germany slash Europe um, because the US had those ponies in, I don't have any of them, but in these styles. The US ponies are sweetheart sister pony molds, while we had uh, normal like adult pony molds, like um, here. So, what's the name of this pony? Oops. Um, I always like mix them up, but this is Kiss and Tell because um, I have another one that's called Kiss and Makeup or something. <laughs> it's just like, it's like th th those don't have good names. They're not called like, I don't know, Sweetie Kiss or something like that. But they was really like Kiss and Tell, Kiss and Makeup. What, what, what's that for, what name is that? But their feature was you would get a um, lipstick with them and uh, not a real lipstick, but you could like just remove the cap uh, the top and it have, have like, has kind of like a sponge or something underneath it. I don't have any of those. Those are really hard to find and really rare and expensive if you want one. But uh, you would could um, change the lips of this pony. You can still see that it looks like this has a little makeup on. This is normal but with hot and cold water or hot and cold sponge of this kind of lipstick thing you could kind of apply and change like if she had like bright red lips or not. So uh, this pony here has a hair clip in but this is not original obviously this is something the child put in. Uh, they all have tinsel hair and yeah kind of a mid-size length pretty long hair not super long but and they all have kind of you know um, you know, symbols that have like lips or kind of makeup symbol type. There's one that has is orange and has like really like big lips here. That's called, I think, sweet, no, um, candy kisses. That's at least a cool name, but kiss and tell, kiss and makeup. What, what names are those? But yeah, it kind of has a, like a love letter on here, two hearts and a smooch there. The tail, by the way, does not have, um, Tinsel didn't say that, only the mane. And yeah, these ponies are, other than that, somewhat simple, so not no, not like multiple colors in the mane or tail or anything like that. Always one color and then the same color also, um, the tinsel. Yeah. And uh, I, what did I pay for this set altogether? I don't remember what it was, but it was something around 15 euro or was it 20 or something like that. Like this pony, alone is way more uh, like um, worth than what I paid for this whole thingy um, and this is like I wasn't I think I saw it in a picture that there was also the um, keeper's brush in it but that was not the main reason the main reason is this pony because it's European exclusive but it's one of the very expensive sets which like yeah I have one more maybe I show it quickly here, I got this one uh, in the very beginning of my collecting, like in 2020 or something, in a lot together with others, so it was not expensive. And, um, well, I had to rehair it. So you see, I rehaired it also with uh, tinsel, and then I just left the hair longer than it usually would be. This is a symbol of the other one, also kind of with a lipstick here, you can see, so. And I think this is then Kiss and Makeup, and this is Kiss and Tell, so. Yay, two ponies of the set. Oh my goodness, it has just taken like four years after I found this pony to find the next one of the set. Um, and I, yeah, I don't have any of the American ones in the Sweetheart Sister pose. Let's continue. Now we only have packages that should continue one pony. I think I squeezed them to the side because, I mean, those are all fakies. Um, you have seen them. So just, yeah, it's not the most interesting, ta-da, 
Now I'm going just like left, right, left, right, because there's packages here and there's packages there, and I don't know which one is in which. So let's have a look. What is this? Okay. Very interesting package. <laughs> uh, Nature Valley fruit and nut, 12 bars. Okay. Definitely comes from the US. This is an American like food packaging. <laughs> ah, it's this one. Yeah. So here we have a pony from a, a G1 My Little Pony set that I don't own any ponies of. Now I do. And there's more in these packages. Yeah, this is a set which was not released in Germany, so you don't really find them. It was also not released, I think, in any other country in Europe, uh, just normally uh, at the time when uh, these ponies came out, uh, which was in the mid line of My Little Pony, so I think that's more like year. I wrote it down because sometimes I cannot remember. It's more like year six, so 87, 88. Um, and those are the Happy Tails ponies. Okay, how do they work? They have a mechanism, they have a feature, a gimmick. Ah, ah it works! And yeah, uh, they are not very easy to find here, though they are definitely not expensive ponies. This whole set, maybe there's one or two that are a little more thought after. And what's thought after about these ponies would be the accessory. So, but, um, so I got this one off of eBay from an American seller and they are like in the US when you don't have to pay like additional shipping, blah, 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 actually pretty, pretty like, um, low price still. I think I got all this, I, I bought three, there are three of these ponies in this video uh, for around 10 uh, euro slash dollar. So a little over 10, one was maybe more like 15. <coughs> or something similar, but they are definitely not expensive ponies. As I, said, I think there's maybe one or two that are a little more uh, thought after, but also those are not like uh, high priced. But if you want to buy this from Germany, I would have to pay like maybe 50 euro because there's people in Germany selling those ponies on eBay. But like then I'm even cheaper when I have like maybe, I don't know what I paid for this. Let's say I paid 12 euro for this and then maybe another 15 euro shipping or something because I always like uh, check if the shipping is kind of uh, affordable. Um, I try only to get shipping um, so under uh, 20 euro or 20 dollars. So uh, that's definitely cheaper than getting this on on uh, like from Germany directly. The name, by the way, let's get those correct. I wrote it down. The pink one with the aqua hair. This one is Tussles, and it has these cute uh, bears. Are these no these are not meant to be teddy bears these are real original bears like <laughs> like real animals uh, very cute and all of these ponies had a little like two always two animals always just in one color they have a feature you can already see they they have this ring around here so there's something special with the tail yeah the tail wiggles when you squish the body I think always around uh, more the shoulder um, like what should I say, like uh, way, not, not really push on the belly, then nothing happens, but like here. Woo! They can wiggle with the tail, it's so cute! And uh, they came with one uh, very like thought after accessory because no other pony set ever came with it. They came with a little clip that you could put around here, so like an accessory just, with a little um, squirrel, or is it like two squirrels? I don't remember exactly, but like a little squirrel hair clip. And those are very expensive. And when you find a pony together with this, then this pony goes up in price, definitely. But um, just like this, not one of the very uh, expensive pony sets, just hard to find because they were not released over here. Ha, I know in the UK, kind of a, um, like variations of these ponies were released, but very late on. So not uh, in the original time of the release, as I said, not in year, pony year eight, which is like, you know, uh, not eight, uh, six, so 87, 88. That was when they were released in the US. But way later on, after kind of US had stopped releasing ponies, so in the early 90s, maybe 93, 94, whatever, they uh, still brought out some ponies G1 style in the UK, I think only in the UK really, not in the rest of Europe, I'm from Germany. So uh, when they had like 
leftover stock. They meshed together some of the ponies, so there's definitely princess ponies and this set where they are sometimes meshed together, so with the princess head and this body or just this pony but without the mechanism in there or with a different like mane than hairstyle or without a symbol, stuff like that. They were released like this, but this is not really this whole set. So this is a real one just released in the Happy Tails ponies. Is it standing? It's okay. By the way, the body is definitely squishier than any other pony that I had from G1. It's almost like real rubbery because like this you can squish it. I like the body. So this one is uh, in the crumpet pose. It's not the most stable, but it still can stand, which is fine. Like, see, it's a little bit if I... It would fall over, but like, no. It's funny, it's so... Let's see if all of them have like really the same body because I said two more should be in these packages. Yeah, now I really try to find like, go for like really search for specific ponies or specific pony sets that I am still missing. There's one or two more pony sets where I have almost no ponies off, although in the US they're not really uh, like sought after pony sets. So let's grab another pony here. That's interesting. It came in a, in a Halloween um, like uh, shipper, shipper, although this clearly arrived like this year. So uh, not for Halloween last year. They probably just had um, Halloween shipping uh, envelopes left. Oh, okay. Thank you for supporting my small business. Okay, apparently I bought this from a small business. <laughs> Someone is more of a professional seller on eBay. Still, this was a really cheap one. I think this, this year, I think, was the cheapest one of the set. Because I can already see it's another one of the Happy Tails ponies. Okay. Okay. Oh, the head is loose. That's interesting. Sorry, <laughs> it is very easy, but oh, like this, I can definitely see uh, the mechanism in there. That's interesting. So you, usually, uh, G1 heads shouldn't be loose, but this one is also as the, the same the same texture. The pony is super squishy, um, and I hope the mechanism works. Oh, it works even better! <gasps> Ta-da! It goes around. Oh, this is so cute. I mean, this is not in as good condition as the other one. Uh, the hair is very frizzy. And from the tail color, you can probably guess that the mane also used to be pink. Yeah, um, that pony is a squeezer. Very <laughs> inventive name. You squeeze it and then woohoo! It's in the bow tie pose. Uh, it's blue. Oh, it has really cute um, pink eyes. That's, I love it. Uh, and yeah, it has fading pink hair. So I will have a little more work on this one. I mean, there's more dirt on this one. There's a little discoloration here. I don't know if I can get that off or not. Probably not, but it's not the worst to be quite honest. You don't see it that much. Here's a little bit of gunk on it, but that one I think I can get off. And then I have to repink the hair. Um, I think that will go fine. Um, also head and body is a little mismatched, but not from the front really maybe a little bit but maybe i have to also um just sun fade the head a little bit which would be easy because i can remove it very easy what symbol do we have here are these bunnies or puppies i think these are meant to be bunnies i mean they could also be like coco spaniels with long ears in terms of if they are dogs but i think they are meant to be bunnies two cute playing bunnies and then uh, a pink ring here and the mechanism works perfect. Ta-da! <laughs> okay, so we had Tossels and Squeezer. Both Happy Tails ponies, both uh, kind of a US set which had just super limited and strange variations released in, in the UK. So uh, not that easy to get over here, but affordable over there, definitely. Uh, I had a pony from there. Let's continue. Another small one here, another small, simple envelope. What do we have here? Okay, this looks to me like it's a baby pony from the size. Mm -hmm. Come on, yeah. 
also with a little thank you sticker on it. Thank you definitely for sending this, whoever was the seller. Oh, this even has a little bit of pink hair left. Yeah, another one that's, <laughs> that's fading pink. This is a baby sparkle pony. And there's also an interesting uh, story to tell about US versus Europe, etc. with this set. Um, the name of this pony is... I always mix them up because those have names that are kind of reused from other ponies. Is it Baby Sparkle Firefly or North? I think it's North Star. There is another baby pony called Baby North Star. Do I have it here right behind me? This one is called Baby North Star. Um, and this one as well. Those have nothing in common. <laughs> um, I wonder if they just reuse the name because of, I don't know what reasons, trademark reasons, I have no idea, but they reuse the name, although it's clearly a completely different pony with completely different um, uh, symbols, etc. Completely like there's, there's no similarities in those ponies. They have really nothing to do with each other. Um, so that's why when you want to distinguish them, I mean, on the back card, it just said here also baby North Star. But those are the baby sparkle ponies. And uh, in the pony community, if you want to like point out that you're talking about this uh, baby North Star and you say baby sparkle North Star. So that's why it has the sparkle thing in her name. Yeah, this is a set consisting of four ponies, a set baby sparkle ponies. And um, they were released in year eight, which means like, uh, you know, 89, 90 around. So a little later, but still still when, when like US and Europe, etc., the ponies were still going strong. Um, and this is also a US exclusive pony. There is a kind of corresponding set that Europe got um, where the ponies are in the same pose but and, and they also have the same symbols they have completely different names though and they're not sparkly instead they have a shiny body let me get them out you have seen them a ton on my channel already and that is those girls here um they are the starlight baby ponies and uh, if we have a closer look at this one yes that's kind of the european variant of this pony not really because like they are really different ponies. They have the same pose. They have the same symbol, but they don't even have the same names. Um, the sets were called differently. And as I said, these ponies here are a little more reminiscent of the, um, you know, sparkle ponies with the translucent body with uh, tons of glitter embedded. Uh, and these are kind of, uh, they have a texture of a like normal G1 pony. They're not pearlized, but they are shiny. This is the only set that has this kind of shine to it. They're not oily or sticky or something. They are like this. This is what, you know, Europe got for, for, for this kind of set. So, um, and for the very longest time, I've had like two of two ponies of the set because in the very beginning of my collecting, I think in 2019 it was, um, I randomly got two of them from a German eBay seller for super cheap, like I think like, I don't know what, 10 euro for both of them together or something. Um, and since then I haven't found any of them because like uh, from, from Germany you, you really rarely find them. But still this is a set in the US, it's not that expensive. They're very cute. I love that they are so sparkly. You have to be a little careful. I don't know why, but sometimes they have a little discolored body and I don't know how you kind of um, get that uh, back to original because like when they have these translucent bodies, my method, I think with the hydrogen peroxide does not really work. So I was really, I wanted one that is still in this bright orange. Uh, interestingly enough, there's two ponies in the set that have orange. I don't know, there is, it's, it's a little strange, but um, this is one of those occasions where I would really like to talk to an, I don't know, Hasbro employee from back then, maybe from the European divisions or something from Hasbro Germany or UK or whatever. Why was it decided that some of these pony sets, why, why not just release those here also? Why make a similar but different set? I have no clue. Um, I can only guess that it was maybe to market research and they said, well, the sparkle ponies, well, 
a lot of well the sparkle ponies were released in the uk not the rest of europe maybe that's why they were like well they don't know the sparkle feature yet in a lot of european countries that's why we want them to have normal ponies to purchase or whatever like see-through toys were not as popular here which i don't believe <laughs> i really don't believe that so i have no idea but yeah i have baby sparkle north star and yeah she should actually have pink hair it's another case where i will repink it um it unfortunately turned a little bit of this dusty pink color which is a little harder to repink like nicely but yeah it is not turned completely white but other than that super adorable that's my favorite pony pose as uh, a baby pony pose the baby blossom pose chef's kiss also i don't remember the prices uh, honestly i did not check on it but like definitely under 20 dollars that i paid for for each of those i guess and then just like around 20 or 15 sometimes even 12 uh for shipping so next one we had one of this side so let's go to this side now what do we have here Here we have the third pony that goes into the Happy Tails pony set. Yeah, I was just like, let's search for the Happy Tails ponies. Are they cheap uh, on eBay uh, from the US? Yes, they are. Like a lot of them were just like, I think that one was just eight, you uh, like eight dollars or something. And then I think I paid the most for this because this one is in the best condition, but it still was like not not like not 20 i think under 20 maybe 18 or something uh, because it has this is really wonderful still with like the um fading pink hair which is not faded oh the color is super cute but now i think those are probably meant to be like puppies on this pony because this one is the one with rabbits i mean just look at the difference then these are probably playing puppies and these are bunnies because I don't think they would have put like two bunnies, <laughs> like two ponies with bunnies out. Um, that one's called Romper. Let's check if it also works. Oh no, that's not good. This one does not work. Oh no, I paid the most for it <laughs> because it looks in the best condition, but it's not working. So I guess I will also open up uh, the head here and check maybe the mechanism is just uh, like i don't know maybe it's just like uh squished to the side or something because uh, i could see it on the other pony when i opened it up uh, it's actually not difficult it's more like a like a clasp in there that's like this and then you make jerk, 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 and then the tail like makes the it's something super easy in there maybe i can fix it i have no idea but i will uh take the head off and have a look but the pony from the outside is perfect such a lovely um, yeah, pink hair and also the pink bunnies here and then super light perfect paste lavender hair is in gorgeous condition uh, they have kind of short tails but that's correct they, that's the correct length they came with also kind of thin you would think but i mean yeah it's something special with those those have the mechanism in there the ring is mint green in this case romper so and you can see by by the colors of those ponies very simple one body color and then one other color that's the same color on the symbol and the mane and one more color um, that is like the ring around here um, yeah none of mine have the little like a squirrel <laughs> Uh, like hair clip obviously I tried to bid on one uh, from 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 a German uh, eBay auction but uh, I lost it was it was too expensive for my taste I'm not gonna pay like I don't know what it went for over 50 for sure uh, for one of those ponies which is it has never been my favorite set I'm just now getting them because I mean I'm still missing them I don't have them I love every pony but it's probably not my favorite pony set so I'm not gonna pay I don't know how much then I'm happier to get them like from somewhat normal prices and without this thingy. Okay, four more packages. Let's get to maybe this, or maybe let's get to this one. Um, 
yeah this is the only one i can see it it has the <laughs> it has the, the queen on it not the king yet but the queen still here um that's one from the uk um and that's actually <laughs> somewhat interesting why i actually bought this this is not a pony uh but it's a due on my little pony item um i like kind of was looking for something like this for around christmas because i wanted to gift myself something cool g1 my little pony related and i was searching for these things um but i did not find a lot and they were also this one was pretty expensive and it also was from the uk but i still like favored this item so that i would find it again maybe later i would be interested in buying it or whatever because the price for what it actually is was already pretty good then out of the blue i don't remember exactly when in mid-january or something um uh, the seller made me an offer and it became an even better price uh, and then I bought it. So I ha did not have a great... Oh, this is cute. Are these stickers? Probably. <laughs> this is not something that I would usually go for because it is an item on card. But maybe you remember a while ago, I already said pony wear on card. I would consider getting. Oh, cute. And it is a pony wear item on card. And it's even a foreign one. And with foreign, I mean, really, it is a Nirvana pony item. Uh, you can see here, top toys. That's the company that brought out G1 My Little Pony things in the 80s in Argentina. So this is an Argentinian um, G1 My Little Pony wear item on card. The card is in good condition. It's straight. There's a tiny bit of, you know, it's it's not as like clear anymore. But oh, look at those. Those are um, the baby pony, um, you know, costumes. Elephant costume, the dragon. Uh, the bunny and um just so cute oh my god um and you would think oh my god how many hundreds did you pay for this no no really not uh, i think it was uh something around 30 to begin with and um uh, i didn't buy it for that price and then i got a better offer which was around 20 or something so like of course and the seller had more so i guess this came up from a like maybe old uh, stock or something. Sometimes in, in um, the Latin American um, old factories or something, old like like dead stock appears. And that has also happened, I think, must have had happened somewhat recently uh, with um, uh, pony items from Brazil. Because remember, I have those Brazilian um, like party favors and I have since then I've seen more like people on eBay and on Kleinanzeigen or whatever trying to sell them so and maybe at one point in Argentina this has popped up or it was always in the I don't know but the seller definitely had more of this this exact one and I think two more versions um, but I'm happy with having like one of them because you know carded things are difficult to display for me but like oh my god me pequeno pony Tra trapitos baby I have no I, I have no I cannot cannot speak that language um, la ropita mas di atu pony baby aha but it also shows you that it is original um, Hasbro it's just it was distributed by uh, uh, top toys over there and industria argentina steht, uh, is also on here and then it still shows you the Hasbro information here. 84 Hasbro. So really early on. And oh my God. Oh. This makes me happy because I can keep it in the package. I don't have the feeling that when I would have like ponies on card, I would like, oh, they can't breathe on there. Like whatever behind this envelope here. And this is also totally clear. So the bubble or the blister is like totally clear. Not nothing is like yellow. Great condition. Offer I got the offer from the seller on eBay, so like, hell yeah. <laughs> um, I don't know if you look for them, maybe you still find some of them. Um, 
But as I said, it could also be that this person then gave them out for cheaper prices around early this year. Because like um, last year, like in December or like November, they were still um, a little more expensive. Okay, what do we have here? What is that? Okay, United States Postal Service. Ah, oh, this is Pillow Talk! I wanted this pony for so long. Okay, it is not in the greatest condition. I can definitely see that, but it was also not super expensive. <laughs> that one was also one where I was like, let's follow this uh, person, I think, and uh, not follow, but um, just a favor or like give a heart to this listing. And then the person came back like a week later and made me a better offer. Um, I couldn't really tell from the photos and I can't tell still is this just very dirty could be because um, here is the little like cloud the white should really be white but maybe if I scrub it down I think that is really just super dirty and this pony is a super super light like um, like lavender color I would say almost gray <laughs> um, which I was like is it more purple in person I will check open up the head a tiny bit and check if it is more purple on the inside then I will do a little bit of retro brighting on it but otherwise um, maybe that's even really the correct color pillow talk is I mean <laughs> the name already says it it's like sleep themed slumber party yep that pony comes from the slumber party gift set um, maybe you remember I was talking uh, already in a couple of different videos, whatever, about the party gift pack. And there was a second one of this style of uh, pony releases, which was a slumber party gift pack the year after. And those were like big pony sets. You got them in such big like packages and there were like always five ponies included, which you didn't get anywhere else. Those were kind of exclusive to this specific five pack of ponies and uh, they always kind of used pony types of other pony sets that were out around the time. So the first one, for example, had a twinkle eye pony and had a baby C pony in there and had um, also a flutter pony in there, etc., etc. Um, and the second one, for example, here had a twice as fancy pony, another flutter pony. It had two newborn twins. And what was the other style? Ooh, did I write it down? And a at a first tooth baby pony was also in that set. So um, I have the party gift set complete. I have all of the five ponies of that set. Those were relatively easy to get. I have the feeling the ponies from the slumber party gift pack, which came out the year after. So the, that was like year five. So 86, 87. Um, those are a little more harder to get. Those are not as often to be seen. I mean, both sets were not released in Europe. I'm somewhat certain on that, but uh, don't quote me. I never exactly know if, like, I mean, Europe is like a lot of different countries and different countries might have had maybe one of these releases, but I'm pretty sure that those sets, uh, the Slumber Party set and the big, um, um, gift party gift set were only released in the US but I might be wrong about that um, I only have one other pony of this set yet so I have the flutter pony which is pink dreams uh, which is kind of a thought-after pony now I think uh, one of the most popular um, flutter ponies I was super lucky with this one still like two years ago or something I got this also for like under $20 from from the US uh, that's the pony with the um, sleeping cat on it <laughs> so these came from the same set super lovely pastel colors this girl pillow talk um, is a twice as fancy pony I didn't say that yet maybe you could have guessed it but it's um, it has a symbol all over the black body not completely I mean not really on the back and but it has one of the symbols on the cheek I mean the twice as fancies have it either on the cheek as well or on the forehead uh, but with pillow talk it's more like one big symbol because it's you know one cloud with moons and I mean pillows <laughs> all over it and stars uh, I bet when I have this one cleaned up it will look so so cute I know that um, 
my followers and also they are have, uh, have an own YouTube channel, um, the Twinted Toy Box. They um, just showed this pony in one of their last videos and um, one, of this, one of the girls, honestly don't even know your names, your individual names, uh, there are two sisters doing the channel, um, said that this is one of her favorite uh, G1 ponies and I can totally understand that. And yeah, it's a pony that uh, comes without any pink or any purple. So, uh, I mean, unless you really consider this body to be purple, it's almost gray, to be quite honest. Maybe it should be a little more purple. Um, yeah, I have pillow talk now. Two more packages. I guess let's do the small one first and then the big one, although also in the big one, I think there's just one pony in it. Um, but this is another one from the US and yeah, it should be it should be another baby pony. What do we have here? And it is another one of the set that I was already talking about. It's another one of the baby sparkle ponies or sparkle baby ponies. Is it sparkle baby ponies or baby sparkle? I don't know, baby sparkle, sparkle baby, whatever you want. <laughs> I think it's baby sparkle ponies. Um, that one being the other name, that also is a reused name. So that one was baby North Star, and this one is baby sparkle firefly, which is strange. I mean, it has the same pose as firefly, so it is the firefly pose. <laughs> um, let me get out normal firefly, baby firefly, because it's obviously also an adult firefly. Um, so they at least have the same pose. <laughs> Uh, this is a normal baby firefly and but other than that they have the same pose both Pegasus ponies They have nothing in common with each other with each other So we've got the you know the lightning bolt here and here we've got a kite um, And yeah, I was talking about it already this pony also has a European counterpart Which is baby mischief? Here it's kind of same color because we've got uh, also a pink body same symbol, by the way, the symbols really have the same color. Um, yeah, even the same tone of blue, it just looks more vibrant because it is a darker pink body here. They both have kind of blonde hair, um, but you know, the um, um, Starlight Baby Ponies, as I said, they have these shiny bodies. And here we've got the half translucent body with glitter embedded. And those also have tinsel hair, I didn't say that, but um, the, you, uh, the American versions don't have tinsel hair. This pony was insanely cheap already and I got it even cheaper. I think it was probably the cheapest pony that I got. I don't remember. Was it like six euro, six dollars or something like that? Because it has one issue, which is there is something written right in the front here. And it is the name of the girl that it belonged to. Emma, uh, Emma and Asheroon. Emma Asheroon or something like that. Um, I was still okay buying this because, I mean, it's not really the best place to put your name, right? You should have put like E and A on the feet or something like that. That would have been better. But I kind of like when you have the name um, on the toy to whom it belonged. And um, I might try to get this off. It even looks like if it's just a super thin Sharpie, maybe I could get it off. But I don't even know if I want to take it off because it's not super bold like in your eye because it's just a light a red and if I just show it to you like this it's not that noticeable otherwise the pony is in gorgeous condition still factory curl the body is still light and very translucent hasn't like darkened up hasn't gotten orange because you see this pony very often kind of this color to more of an orange body but uh, yeah, no, this is the orange pony. <laughs> this shouldn't be orange if you find it uh, because this is actually a somewhat mid pink color. It looks like a dusty pink because of this kind of texture of this style, but baby sparkle firefly. Yeah, so cute. Um, I have the set now complete. I have, this is my set completer, obviously. When I say set complete, I mean I have all of the ponies. I never have all of the accessories. Like, 
combs and brushes and stuff like I, I don't know if I will ever have any of the brushes. Let me get out the other ponies of the set so we have the full set. So these were the two that I, you know, I showed you in this haul. These are the new editions. And here are the other two that I had actually for the very longest time already. Um, here they are, sparkling, like in German I would say, um die Wette, so sparkling like crazy. Um, and you see, there's two orange ponies in the set. I don't know why they didn't come up with at least another color. Why didn't they do like a purple or something? No, we, we have a pink, a yellow and two orange ponies. So, but whatever, these are the girls. This one has definitely cut hair. I could definitely rehair it. I've just never done it because I have this pony for so long. At this point, when I got it in 2019, I had never rehaired a pony. And I just started after that. And then this pony, it was never like on my list to rehair, but I could do that. Here they are, all of them. So, but these, Go to the side because they are not from directly this video. Oh, pillow talk. No, great. Um, and I have one more package, which looks like a ginormous big package. I mean, not ginormous, but like this. I was like, what, what came and what's this? And it's one pony that this person shipped. But this is something I also bought of eBay, but the only one I bought of eBay from a German seller. Um, because <laughs> This is one of the, you know, ponies that I'm still missing. They are a European exclusive set. Hence why pretty expensive, blah, blah, blah. Um, but this one, it's not in a very good condition, I think. Therefore, it was not that expensive. But I immediately, when I saw that, interesting thing, I didn't even see it on eBay. I saw an ad, an eBay ad on a different page. I don't remember what it was. I think it was on Kleinanzeigen. I saw an eBay ad for this pony, I was like, 30 euro? Was it 30? Or was it 25? I don't remember if it was 25 or 30, but I immediately went over to eBay, jumped on this pony, it's mine. <laughs> because this is another set completer of a European exclusive pony set that I, I'm trying to get for so long, but it has gotten so expensive. Okay, here it is. I think. No, oops. That was. But I think there was nothing else in there because this should be the pony. And some more Haribo, as if I haven't eaten enough gummy bears recently. <laughs> if you are following my other videos as well, I have kind of bought um, um, Haribo kind of um, LOL, uh, OMG, not OMG, LOL. Um, Tween doll and I made a short about her and I bought a lot of um, Haribo gummy bears and then I had like so many gummy bears and it's now like I think two weeks or something. <laughs> I've now finished them all and I have more. Um, but let me get to the pony. Daffodil! Uh, it took me only like how many years to finally get my hands on this pony for a, I mean, 30, I think it was 30 euro. I might be wrong, but I think it's, it was 30 euro. It was definitely not more than 30 euro. Um, so, because this pony, I mean, uh, it is my favorite of the set. The set is called the Flower Ponies. They, uh, it's a four pony set kind of late release, um, like year nine, not even that yet late, but it was a time when there were a lot of different sets in the US versus the versus uh, Europe. Like in the US, you had the sets, which a lot of them didn't have corresponding sets in Europe. And in Europe, you also had a lot of different sets and only a couple of sets were still shared between, uh, you know, like worldwide, so to say. Um, and these are like four ponies, very simple, like one hair color, one body color and a flower symbol so actually very like not super special but because they're european ponies a lot of people go crazy <laughs> for them um i was for a while i was thinking maybe these were only released in germany but no i definitely have seen back cards that uh, say flower pony and say my little pony so they must have also been released in other countries um here she is uh, Daffodil or in German not Cisline. And yeah, she has cut hair. 
that's why I was like, yeah, I can see why this person is selling this pony for cheaper. Because it got cut here. And, and that's why. Otherwise, if you want to have this pony, it's like, pfft, I don't know, people start like crazy with 80 euro or something like that, maybe even higher. And it's definitely the most expensive one of the set. Um, all of them have gone up since I got mine. Let me get them out. So you can see they are somewhat simple. Like, as I said, not a lot to them, um, but we have all of these cute flower symbols. The snowdrop, we've got the blue bell and tulip and here daffodil. Um, it is kind of also for me the cutest color combination with this super light minty uh, body color and then this um, purp uh, purple, purple, why do I say purple? I don't know. Uh, yellow hair, which I think I should have on hand because it looks similar to the normal yellow that I have to rehair a lot of ponies. It's kind of the Applejack color, I think. Uh, I mean, I call it Applejack because, because it's kind of this style of, of green and uh, of yellow. Um, the tail, I don't know if it's cut. It doesn't look that bad. The seller has given me, I, I think it has some tail rust in there. You can see that. Sellers sometimes try to hide that when they put a ribbon on it. That's not, not, not an original pony ribbon, for sure it's not. <laughs> um, I mean, I can tell that it's, it's just a, this is a modern ribbon. Way too shiny, it looks different. Um, but I mean, either I rehair it completely because I have to rehair the mane anyways, and then also give her a new tail. Or when I get out the tail and the tail rust is not as bad, I probably can remove it. So I would like to keep uh, the tail original. Yeah, most of mine uh, of the set are not in super good condition. This one has a big spot here that I have never gotten out. And this one has also a little bit cut hair, which kind of never bothered me that much. I don't know, maybe I could also rehair it, but like, it's, I don't know. Uh, there's definitely a stat, like um, uh, a length of, of cut hair that I'm still okay with. Uh, th this is too short. <laughs> this is way too short for me to keep. But something like this, like, yeah. I mean, rehairing is fun, but it's also work and I don't have a ton of like time for this because, you know, I'm also doing these videos, etc, etc. Um, yeah, put them to the side again. Another set completer. <gasps> Applause, applause. Yeah, so I was kind of lucky, I think, with this price, although it is more than I would like usually like to pay, but I'm also realistic. Pony prices are not the same anymore as they were in 2020, when I mostly got into this online pony buying thing. And um, yeah, so I have to pay more. You have to pay more, but there's still a lot of good pony like like lots etc to be found probably no matter where you are locally um, not, not locally locally but like from your country online um, but it's m mostly the ponies that the common ponies the ponies that I already have and I don't so I don't jump on those ponies anymore because I have them <laughs> so um, that's it one two three four five six seven eight ponies one pony thing on card and a lot of fakies let's see if i and, and like g4 stuff let's see if i ask the seller if the kid still wants them back but i would definitely keep keep this pony i no nope, sorry you sold it to me and after you sold it to me you're like oh my my child didn't want to sell it actually but like and um, don't make me feel bad okay i hope you enjoy this video lots of colorful ponies and i definitely have already ordered a couple more and i have more already sitting waiting to be unboxed which are from different generations so the next my little pony unboxing will probably not take as long as this one took from the last one i did like i don't know month and month ago uh, but it will then include also a couple of G2 ponies and uh, G4 ponies, which I have laying um, to be unboxed for a while already. So I guess, but I have also already ordered two more um, uh, G1s, which one of them is one of my grails. So looking forward uh, for what to that one arriving. So um, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget you can give it a thumbs up. That helps my channel. You can comment down below 
I'm trying to answer all of your comments but it really takes time to answer comments and um, yeah time is definitely something that I would like to have more I would like to clone myself and just <laughs> put my clone there please answer all of the comments and while I can already do something else but that's not an option uh, so bear with me if I don't answer your comments it's not personal or anything I just have like not not so much I just have so much time in my life so and um, but I'm still reading them all and I'm super happy about them so and that also helps my channel and if you're not subscribed yet but you like what you see then maybe push the subscribe button it's free it doesn't cost any money it's just easier for you that you will find my videos again pop up on your subscription feed so thank you so much for watching see you real soon and may the ponies be with you